Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a review of Louis Vuitton Miller Clutch. It was requested by X-Ray Gigi. I love her videos. She has an amazing Louis Vuitton collection, so please check out her channel. So let me just jump right into the review of this clutch. Uh, I'm going to try to be more precise this time, so hopefully it's not going to be as long as the other videos. Uh, let me start with the reason why I purchased this clutch. As I mentioned uh, in my previous video that I cannot stand the untraded leather that most of the monogram pieces have um, because I don't like to see them uh, getting patina and I guess darker and get tan or dirty. But I still want to at least own one monogram piece because uh, this is LV's most iconic print. I know they have other small items like wallet or uh, key holders or agenda. They don't have any um, untraded leather at all. But I want to buy a piece that's more versatile, that can be used in many different ways. That's why I purchased this piece. I purchased this one back in February of this year. So I have had this one for three, four months now. Okay, let me over the dimension of this clutch. Okay. It's 8 by 4.5 inches. And you can see on the side, it's pretty skinny. Okay. The front, you can see there is a golden brass plaque, um, metal plaque, with uh, a little bit of tray leather on the side. It says Louis Vuitton. This is the same plaque that they use on the Eva clutch and the mounting shoulder bag. Okay. This one does have a little bit on traded leather, the leather trim, and also here as well, but I'm okay with it because when I use it, I really don't touch this part much. So even if it gets um, darkened, hopefully it's going to be even color. Okay. And uh, the back, it doesn't have a, a plaque. And one thing I want to point out that this clutch is not made from one continuous of canvas. So you can see the front, the LV is in the correct direction. And also in the back, LV is in the same uh, correct direction. So I just want to point that out. Okay. And then you can see there's a zipper pull here, also engraved with Louis Vuitton. This is kind of similar zipper pull they use on the zippy wallet. And it has very nice uh, brass chain, okay, which is the same thickness that they use on the Eva clutch. The drop here for the uh, chain is about seven inches, so you can definitely wear it on the shoulder, but probably not with a big uh, winter coat. Okay. And then um, one side is totally connected. Um, the chain is totally connected to the canvas, and you can see here, it has a little rivet that's also engraved with Louis Vuitton. And the same thing on the other side. And then the other side of the chain, you can disconnect this part. Um, there is, a, I guess it's a lobster clasp. You can disconnect it. And here is also engraved with Louis Vuitton. Okay, let me just do a quick uh, size comparison to a few other items that I own. So, compared to Zippy Wallet, I will say they are about the same size, except I guess the Miller Clutch is gets skinnier when it's empty. Okay. And let me also compare to the uh, pochette. And you can see the pochette is bigger, a little bigger, and maybe like one inch, one and a half inch each side. And obviously the pochette is much uh, thicker, wider on the side. And also you can see the the strap drop. Mila Clutch definitely has a much longer strap drop. You can see. And then let me compare it to the Eva clutch. You can definitely tell that the Eva clutch is much bigger than the Miller clutch. And uh, actually, if 
if you put the chain complete inside of the mirror clutch, then you can actually fit the entire mirror clutch into the Eva clutch. But you probably need to be very careful because I think they're pretty much about the same height close. So when you uh, zip use the zipper of the Eva clutch, just make sure that you know it doesn't you know rub off this part of the mirror clutch. I mean you can use it if you want, you know, to make a separate compartment. And then let me show you the um, stripe drop. You can definitely see the Eva clutch has a longer strap drop. Probably like one more inch longer maybe. Maybe half inch. Okay. Okay. Um and um, inside you can see this kind of like tan colored uh, interior lining. It's kind of like sway filled lining and then you can see on that it has a one slip pocket and the, the front of the pocket it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France this is another made in France piece that I have and the date code is actually if you open up the pocket it's actually on the right hand side which I think is around this area I don't know if you'll be able to see like right here where my thumb is it's actually stamped on the lining, so it's pretty hard to see. Just want to point that out. Okay. You can use this mirror clutch uh, in many different ways. Obviously, you can use it as a shoulder bag. It's quite small as a shoulder bag, though. I mean, but obviously, you can use it as a shoulder bag. Okay. And then you can put the chain complete inside if you want. Use like as a wallet, okay. or um, you can use this chain to hook these to, like you know the D ring in, I guess any other Louis Vuitton big shoulder bags or big bags. If you want like additional compartment, additional space uh, in your big bag, so you can use this I guess as cosmetic bags maybe or maybe just a you know accessory bag uh, to hold like small items I'm not sure you want to use this cosmetic bag though because you know even though you can clean this uh, it's not as easy as uh, I guess the lining uh, Louis Vuitton used in the cosmetic bag I believe that kind of lining in the cosmetic bag you can just wipe it clean but definitely not this one you can kind of have to you know uh, watch out for that so, and then the last way to wear this clutch, which is what I usually do, is make it a wristlet. Actually, that's pretty much most of the time, you know, how I use it. Because um, I like wristlets a lot. I definitely um, take wristlets over wallets uh, because... You know, when I go to work, when I go out uh, for lunch, I don't carry my big bag. I just take my either wallet or wristlet. I just feel safer with wristlet because you can kind of put it, in, you know, here. It's more secure. And also, I guess winter time, when I go out um, to get my lunch, I want to put my hands in my pocket. So, you know, if I just carry a wallet, I can't really do that. So. It's much easier to have a wristlet so you don't have to worry about it. You can still put your hands in the pocket, your winter coat pocket. All right. So let me show you what fits inside of this mirror clutch. It looks kind of small, but I guess you can still fit enough stuff. So let me just try show you. Um, you can definitely pull your phone here. You know, if you want to put it in this pocket, if you know, in case you know you're afraid that your phone gets scratched. Uh, I don't have an iPhone, but I iPhone does fit in this little pocket as well. Okay, and um, I have ten bills. Just kind of put it here, and then the bills can uh, you can 
lay the bells flat in this middle pouch, which is a uh, pause, so you don't have to fold your bells. And uh, let me just put like five cards on the side. And then usually when I use my clutch, as I mentioned in my um, Zip It Wallet review videos, that I always have my coins with me, either in my uh, wallet or wristlet. So I usually use this little, I guess, plastic pouch uh, used for pills to put my coins. So I don't forget that, you know, to use it. So I'll just put it on the side. You know, most people probably don't have that. And then I have these four key uh, Louis Vuitton four key holder. Just put it here too. All right. So you know, if you don't have a lot of keys, it probably will fit here as well. And then I'm just gonna put like the lipstick or whatever chapstick on the side. So let's see. Okay. You can zip everything up. You know, it's kind of it's pretty full now. You maybe will feel put a couple more things inside maybe but it's pretty full right now so you can see what feels inside okay. so overall I like this clutch a lot um, I definitely don't really have any negative negative things to say about this clutch maybe one little thing is I feel like this clasp is fairly big because I feel like everything else is just so um, you know cute or pretty you would say you know sophisticated but I just feel like these claps for some reason is like pretty big for some reason I don't know why they don't use the same like um, hook like the Eva clutch you see like this one which they use on most of the um, I guess when they have chance like you can see this kind of uh, hook much more than this big one I don't know why they use this big clasp on such a little bag okay. so that probably will be like one little minor thing I would say but everything else is great I love this clutch I use this a lot um, but I would say that this is Something it's I definitely recommend this to some uh, to people who don't like the entree leather because this one really has many very minimum entree leather and also another thing is you can also use this as like a clutch like you know you can put like you know hook it on your wrist and then just use this as clutch Oops, uh, sorry just use this side like this okay. I think it's very nice too and um, you can use this way like when you go to I guess formal event when you know even shoulder bag uh, just look too casual so I would think this is definitely something you can use as a clutch that like you hold in your hand I know some people say that they they say you can use, also use the Eva clutch like handheld like as a I guess a clutch uh, when you go to formal event but I don't know just my opinion I think this is kind of it's pretty big to be honest to kind of use this handheld clutch I would think um, because when you don't fill this up if it's quite empty inside then it's kind of I mean, on the side you know the canvas kind of drip a little bit so it's kind of like you just feel like it's kind of like you know, squishy you know kind of doesn't really have a shape but when it's like full like this like right now I definitely feel it's kind of pretty big as a you know can help clutch so that's just my opinion so definitely I would think if you have any formal events to go to definitely this can be a handheld clutch okay. um, so that's how my thoughts on the Eva clutch I'm sorry uh, Miller clutch but if it really depends on what you buy, want to buy this item for, or, or, or what you're looking for. If um, you are, comp I guess you are debating if you should get the Miller clutch or the Eva clutch. Um, to be honest, if you don't care about, um, if you don't mind that um, 
that it has entree leather. Um, I would say that you would probably, I would suggest probably go for the Eva clutch because it's probably like a, another, I don't know, $150 more or something like that. But you definitely can use this Eva clutch a lot more, I think, in many ways because I would think it's more, almost like a small shoulder bag. And then you can, you know, put it on your shoulder and they also come with a long strap that you can use cross body. You know, just more uh, ways that you can wear um, if you have the Eva clutch. I mean, Mila clutch is very nice as well, but you know, obviously, you know, you can wear it shoulder. I mean, cross body bag, things like that. So, but overall, I really like this piece, and um, I hope X Ray GG feel you feel like this review is helpful. If you have any more questions, uh, please comment below. Uh, if anybody has any other questions, please comment below and I will get back to you. And please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.